Hi, this is Ralph Turchiano coming to you once again where we feel the top three headlines of the past seven days, this being the 18th of January 2016. And as we begin to review, let's start with number one. Low fiber diet may cause irreversible depletion over gut bacterial regeneration. Stick with that word, irreversible. irreversible. What they did is they looked at animals over about four generations and they found out that certain bacteria went extinct and they could not uh, repopulate in those guts where it did become extinct. However, what they failed to mention often was the amount of bacteria was just not just one species. When they looked at four generations, they looked at three quarters of the bacteria species residents in their great grandparents were no longer present in the new generation. That means 75% of the bacteria which made your great grandparents, at least in animal models, were no longer there following a diet which was inadequate, nor could it come back. That's very telling from an epigenetic effect that needs to be looked into more. Number two, magic mold food preservative kills cancer cells and superbugs. Basically, this is the typically naturally occurring mold uh, called nisim, which is incredibly uh, good against certain cancers and bacteria, but this is how good it actually is. When they fed rats, nice and milkshake, so to say, it killed 70 to 80% of head and neck tu tumor cells after nine weeks. That's an incredibly powerful natural product. Number three, the Zika virus, Zika virus could spread rapidly in the Americas if it hasn't already. Zika virus is something which causes an undeveloped brain, otherwise known as microcephaly. But however though, this is what they did. They measured tra air travel. Between 2014, September, to August 2015, they followed 9.9 million passengers. 65% of them were traveling to the Americas. They believe what's happened is that once people were exposed to this virus, which is, has tragic effects on newborns, they believe that 60% of the U.S. population is now in a favorable area to seasonal Zika spread. So keep that in mind, Ozaka like Zika that basically this is something which will be coming up in the future and hopefully by then they'll either come up with a vaccine or some other treatment. Again, this is Ralph Church Channel. This is 18th of January 2016 presenting you the top three health headlines that we feel over the past seven days and thank you very much for listening once again. All links will be down below.